guys welcome to my channel today I'm gonna to show you what you can use on your skin instead of egg and Vaseline so if you're looking for an amazing facial mask that's gonna tighten and firm the skin hydrates the skin boosts the collagen production in the skin follow me and I'll show you this wonderful amazing facial mask minus the eggs so now our first ingredient is a potato and I'm using Irish potato now potato is amazing for the skin it will help to clear the skin of spots and blemishes hyperpigmentation it will also help to get rid of scars acne spots also potato will help to tighten and firm the skin and that's one of the main reasons for using the potato the tightening properties of the potato it contains an ingredient called catechol lace that when it's cold and applied to the skin will help to boost the collagen production while smoothing the wrinkles and fine lines so what I'm going to be doing with the potato today, I am going to be extracting the potato starch. So to start, I'm going to use about a half of a medium potato. If you want to make more, you can use up the entire potato. Next, I'm going to peel the potato. When you peel the potato, do not go too deep because a lot of the vital nutrients is very close to the peel of the potato. As a matter of fact, if you can scrub your potato, then you don't need it to peel and that way you're using all of the important nutrients in the potato now guys if you take a little piece of a potato and apply it directly on your skin it's gonna help to clear the spots and blemishes for those of you who are not looking to brighten the entire face just cut a little piece of potato apply it to the area that you're trying to clear every night and you will see amazing result now after peeling the potato what I'm gonna be doing I'm going to be cutting it in small pieces since I'm going to be blending at this stage if you do not have a blender do not cut in small pieces go ahead take your grater and grate the potato now I have a blender so I'm going to be blending so now I'm just going to add the potato to the blender and I'm going to be blending now at this stage do not add any water to the blender just blend as is and take a look this is what it looks like after blending so now i'm going to move on to straining the potato if you don't have a strainer at this stage you can use a piece of cheesecloth or even an old marina now once we finish straining take a look at this this is going to be looking all creamy so i'm going to put this to the side to settle that's the only way we're going to be able to extract the starch and then i'm going to introduce the next ingredient now our next ingredient is baking soda and you might be wondering why baking soda but i'm using the baking soda for two purposes baking soda will help to clear the skin of hyperpigmentation it will also help to get rid of dark spots and blemishes on the skin however it will help to mutualize the potato juice when you combine the two together it's going to create a very effective skin brightening remedy the two together is going to clear the skin of spots and blemishes much faster than using either or either alone so now let's move on to my next ingredient which is vaseline and vaseline guys is what is going to help to lock that moisture in the skin it's going to allow the mixture to stay on the skin and not only that it's going to help your skin to be hydrated while the other two ingredients do the work of clearing spots and blemishes and boots in the collagen production in the skin so now that we have all our ingredients prep let's put this remedy together when it comes on to the petroleum jelly there's two ways of using it you can choose to melt it before you use it or you can choose to just mix it in like I'm gonna be doing so what I'm gonna use is one tablespoon of the baking soda a good substitute for the baking soda is some cornstarch I'm gonna pour this in and then I'm gonna reach for the petroleum jelly a good substitute for the petroleum jelly is some shea butter. And pour in this in. And next, I'm going to slowly 
blend the two ingredients together, which is going to take a little while, but that's okay. So slowly work it in. And take a look at this. As you can see, it's coming together nicely. I do not suggest to put this in a blender. Whisking it with a fork or a spoon is much better since all of this will just get lost in your blender. Now, when it comes on to using Vaseline on the skin, a lot of people think that it's not good for the skin. However, Vaseline is just the same as mineral oil. If you use baby oil any at all, you're using Vaseline on your skin because they're both made from petroleum jelly. So make sure to read labels before you decide that you're not using something on your skin. So now guys, this is ready, this is done. Take a look at it, a very creamy, very fluffy, and this is how you want it to be. So let's move on to our next ingredient, which is our potato. As you can see, all of the potato liquid is on the top floating, but below this mixture is the potato starch, and this is what we are going to be using. So to extract the potato starch, you will need to pour off the mixture on the top, and slowly pour this off. Normally when you blend the potato, it look like this. If you grate it, you have actually a better consistency of the potato starch. However, this is it. Take a look at that. There is the potato starch at the bottom. And this is what we're going to use to tighten and firm the skin. You can choose to use it as a standalone or you can mix it with other ingredients. So I'm going to use about a teaspoon of the potato starch give and take. You can use more or you can use less. So I'm slowly removing the potato starch. I don't want much of the potato juice in it. All I'm removing is the starch. Now you can also buy potato starch guys. A lot of grocery stores do sell potato starch so you could go ahead and buy it and use it in this recipe and now that we have all the ingredients in we are gonna mix and we are gonna mix well now take a look at this guys it is still looking all creamy and this is a just a perfect I've used this on my skin several times and I find it to be an amazing facial mask. This mask have my skin looking soft, supple, and just radiant. So just continue to blend and blend well. Now once this is done, guys, this is ready to use on the skin. Now this can be used both day and night. However, if you're using it at night, a little goes a long way. If you're using it in the daytime, then you can just pack it on your skin. So take a small amount and just Rub it on your skin like I'm showing here. Completely cover your skin with it. And what you're going to do, you are going to leave this on your skin for about 30 minutes or so. I personally like to wear it much longer than that. I wear it like an hour or so. And then you go in the shower and you rinse this off with some warm water. You pat dry the skin. When you pat dry the skin, you are going to be amazed because your skin is going to feel soft. Not only that, it's going to look hydrated. Now use this two to three times per week for best result. If you're using this at night, just apply a small amount on your skin, blend it thoroughly in your skin that it doesn't mess your sheet up, and then you rinse in the morning. This is also good to use on your dark under eyes circle. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share the video, and also leave your comments. Those are always welcome since they really help the channel. So thank you all for watching. Try your recipe and come back and leave a comment.